Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. I started a project today, but it's not going to be finished in time to post a video, so I thought we'll do another episode of Check Out These Cool Diecast Cars. Got a nice variety of cars this time around. First up, we got a 300ZX, and what I like about this car is it's got factory sparkles. She's an all metal. 1989. It's pretty sweet. This car reminds me of my childhood. A lot of the cars in the 80s had sparkles in them, so I'm totally digging that. <laughs> Check this out. We got a little Snoopy buggy here. Me <laughs> Missing a headlight. It must have come off in traffic. Jeez, you know, how the hell is Snoopy supposed to see? He's got a Fig Newton decal right in the middle of the windshield. If you guys have any ideas for any of these cars, make sure you put them down in the comments. I don't know, what would you guys like to see done with this little Snoopy buggy here? 4x4, lowrider. I want to know. It's hilarious, either way. Now this is a fancy one. I believe this is uh, this was modeled after a real car, right? A baritone runabout Barchetta, made in Great Britain, Corgi Juniors. This is an interesting one. I believe it had a little bit of a nautical theme. It had something to do with these kind of towers on the side. Interesting car. I don't know what a guy would do with it though as far as customs go. Clean it up maybe. It might be just a restoration. Super interesting casting anyways and a little bit of a, you know, it's a piece of history. This little windshield and that dashboard. That's right out of a little speedboat. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. We got a mash Chevy half ton. Step side. Check it out. This was part of a big set you used to be able to get. Apparently a little bit before my time. I didn't watch too much mash until I was a little bit older, but uh, yeah, man I kind of like it. I want to kind of keep it a mash truck We may we might just redo this truck get that cross nice and red again repaint it Maybe do a wheel upgrade or something I'm down for a mash theme though. I like it. Hot Wheels a Peterbilt cement truck. Hell yeah I think it'd be pretty cool to clean this one up get all the details painted on it I have some air cleaners from another Peterbilt and some stacks, so maybe we could totally go custom and really pimp out one of these cement trucks. What do you guys think? I don't think that's supposed to hinge like that, but maybe it is supposed to hinge like that. I don't really see anything that's going to hold it down. We'll have to do a little bit of research on it. We got a Corgi Buick Regal police car. I believe this is from Kojak. You used to be able to get a set. And you could have his undercover car, which was brown. Pretty much identical to this, but brown, as far as I know. Corky Juniors, Buick Regal, made in Great Britain. This one's a little bit worse for wear. These grills were always kind of bad like that. I've seen a bunch of these cars, and uh, none of them really fit together very well, unfortunately. But a pretty cool casting, nonetheless. Made in France, Majorette Mustang SVO, 159 scale, number 220. <laughs> what do you think of this? Bam! I like this hatch. Are you guys familiar with a Merker XR4Ti? They got the same kind of goofy hatch like that. That's a very obscure car. I'm pretty sure Merkers are made in Africa. Anyways, this thing's pretty sweet. The SVO was a 2.3 liter inline four turbo. So I think this car's got potential. If we could get some decent wheels under it, I think maybe it could look like a real Mustang again. Let me see if we squish this down a little bit. This thing's got crazy suspension. I got another Mustang here actually. This one isn't as old, plastic base, made in Thailand. Oh, I had no idea this one was crushed. I've been looking at this car for, that's crazy, you know, I'd, until you get it in front of the camera. Huh. Huh, too bad, man. This is gonna be a real cool car. I was kind of saving this one. We might be able to straighten her out, but I mean, that's, hmm. It actually even has kind of like a twist in the roof, so I don't know, we'll see. Maybe if we're real desperate for a project, we'll start start on something like that, see if we can't straighten her out, but cool car anyways, I think so. We got an old one here, Hot Wheels Jet Threat, 1970 Mattel, Hong Kong, yada yada yada. Jet Threat, look at that thing, turbine jet engine. This has got some good potential for a restoration. If I could figure out a way to redo these tampos, might be a little tricky, but I bet you that'd be one hell of a ride, eh? Taking that down the track. Got another Yat Ming-ish square body Chev. Hell yeah. Oh, it's so hideous. I don't know what we're gonna do with it, but we'll think of something. I like the little cover. Does that come out? 
Oh yeah, that, that totally looks like a Chevy. Classic Yatmings. Speaking of Yatmings, this must be a little fire recovery truck. This one isn't actually in that bad condition. A couple little touch-ups and some stickers. She'd be good to go. A little collection piece. That's still pretty cool though. Anything that can tow stuff around, I like. Which reminds me, I've got a Land Rover wrecking truck. This thing's got all kinds of nice details. What brand is this thing? Another Corky Jr. Land Rover. I've been kind of pondering different things we could do with this truck as well. I think just restoring it wouldn't be fun. I think we need to do a little bit of something extra with it, but keep the tow theme. So I don't know, maybe could easily 3D print a little hook, but I think it needs some tampos. I don't know if we could find a race theme or something that has to do with Land Rover. I'll have to do a little bit of research. Try to find some period correct for this year of truck, you know. This thing is just hideous. Zalmax Jaguar. A D35 made in Hong Kong. Oh, got them, got them bogey wheels. Look at this thing. Man, if you're sitting in the back seat of this, your pants would get soaked every time you go through a puddle. Pretty cool. Old casting. Anyways, I like these old Yatming type things. Bro. <laughs> Check out this one. What do you guys think this is? You think it's a LeBaron? Is it a Buick? Is it a Monte Carlo? Kind of looks like it might be a Buick. I don't think it's a real micro machine. I'm trying to look here. Let me see if we can maybe use the camera to... Can't make out those other words on the little screen. I just see China. But it's a hilarious little car anyways. I got another one of these little ones. Hold on. Look at this little Chevy. You guys want to see me customize this thing? I'm curious. Let me know in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in. We could try to do a paint job on it. Maybe do some... <laughs> redo the flames. Does this one say ADI? Made in China. They're just little knockoff micro machines. But uh, I mean, it's still pretty cool. It's got that unmistakable 90s Chevy grill. It's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty sweet. I like this thing. Got ourselves... An International 5088. I think this thing's... I wonder if she'll still tow. Let me see. Has this got a hitch? It's got a hitch. So we need a wagon. Isn't this the perfect wagon? It has like legitimate like implement tires. Anyone who's a farmer would know what I'm talking about. I did a little farming for a year one time. Now, let us try it. So I'm gonna work. Our hitch is too high. I need a different wagon. Do, 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 do. I got a logging trailer here. <laughs> it looks like it might be a Yatming. Oh, of course that doesn't fit in our hitch. Another little trailer here. Oh, come on, man. How many trailers do I gotta bring out for this? Just wanna test my tractor. Sweet. Very subtle, but that's a little International Harvester logo on that decal there, so that's pretty sweet. Pretty cool, man. I wouldn't mind working on some tractors. Kidco 1980s, made in Macau. Check out this Blue Chief. This has got rubber tires in the back, which I thought was pretty unique. Truck's a little bit worse for wear. It might be a good parts truck, you know. Got some decent stacks. It's got good air cleaners. Could even use the sleeper in the cab and stuff. So I don't really like how tall this part is. So I wouldn't be super interested in doing like a paint job on this truck. But it's still kind of neat to look at. Here's one from the 90s. Hot Wheels Catapult. This is a neat little car. A little two-seater racer. And number 12. What do you guys think this thing is? I desperately want it to be a Zamboni just because, you know, I'm Canadian, but I have a feeling it's probably something more like a forklift or something. I don't know. 
Looks like it's got a big counterweight on the back anyway, so you know, whatever it is, what's missing? I'd be curious, because then I would know what to 3D print. I haven't Googled this thing yet, but uh, I don't know, I'm thinking forklift. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Eh, what's this thing? I think this is the Daisy Duke Jeep from the Ertl set. I'm surprised I didn't bring this out when we did that Pontiac Sheriff's car. I should have had this out with the charger and everything. It must have been buried. That's pretty cool. This thing's kind of mashed, it looks like. She looks like she's a little bit bent up, but uh, could be a cool project. Anyways, I like that the little eagle's still on there after all those years. Here's a pretty old one. A Play Art VW Station Wagon. Station Wagon? More like micro bus. This looks like it's gonna be awesome until you get around to the other side here and you're like, ah, it's missing a door. Darn. Guess we're gonna have to get into doing some casting. Maybe I could 3D print a counterfeit. <laughs> we'll just blend her in, I don't know. Another cool project for one day anyways. Got a nice little sunroof in there. It's got the classic Matchbox number 66 coach. Everybody's seen these things. I'm pretty sure Marty's worked on about 50 of these. It's got lots of sunroofs. This is gonna be like, I don't know, we gotta make a wicked like camper out of this thing or a party bus or something. Doing a restoration on this is just, I don't know, super boring to me. It's pretty much just a decal and some silver paint. So I wanna go full custom with this and you know, make a real sweet something rather out of it. Something like this we could open up pull the interior out of it, get the dimensions, and then print out a new interior with the 3D printer that has like, you know, stripper poles and a mini bar and a pool table. <laughs> hey man, the option's there, I'm just saying, but that's gonna be something, that's a project that I'm gonna have to do over a couple of days for sure. I like that we got skylights though, so you can like, you can be a voyeur and just be like, oh, oh dang, what's happening on that couch over there, Jimmy? Here's another 3D printing project. I got a Yatming, uh, I'm gonna guess it's some kind of crane. Burr. Missing some pieces. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research and figure out what I need to complete this thing. Now we could do a, do a cool build out of it. I don't know why I got this one in here. It's just kind of a, a simple Corvette. It's got the Hot Ones wheels. These are pretty sweet. I think the Hot Ones wheels are some of my favorite but only when they're like mint condition. So uh, too bad these are just roached right out. We have a good opportunity to make a nice little Corvette. Can never have too many stingrays. I probably got another five or six of these things that we can work on. So we'll be some of these in our future for sure. Oh, hell yeah, America, fuck yeah. We got a hot bird, slightly mashed. This one's probably salvageable. You can see these pillars are just pushed out a little bit. Definitely should be able to straighten this one out. And I want to redo these American tampos, man, because there's the freedom of America. We got a Hot Wheels rescue truck. This one's a plastic base. Everyone's got like two or three of these for sure, just kicking around. I've always struggled with doing restorations on these ones because I always just have these bright yellow tampos and that's gonna be pretty hard for me to reproduce unless I did it all in white first and then somehow stacked yellow on top of it. So it might be a challenging restoration if I wanted to have it looking looking brand new. Is this seriously a base for a super van? Cause I see the bumper in there. Let me get a super van. Get to the bottom of this. This front end is definitely a super van. <laughs> Well, you know, if you need any extra bases for super vans, <laughs> you can find them in these fire rescue trucks. That's ah, hilarious. They just sneak one in there. Crazy. I wonder what kind of cool things we can do with that. I don't know. How could we use that to our advantage? We'll have to think about it. Isn't that a nice one? Hmm, it's not real. We made this one on the channel. She's a fake. It's got a couple more here. You guys have all seen these Torinos. I got a bunch of these. A couple black ones, they all are missing their chrome like this. Like it's crazy. They just did not last these cars. Got a little corner missing. I think we could rebuild that with a little bit of, uh, I don't know, you could probably just a little CA glue and some baking soda, build that up, file it out. This one might be cool for just like an actual restoration. Redo the arrow and the stripes and everything. What do you guys think? Kind of pop out. 
whatever's making our roof sag in a little bit. Here's a better look at the Hot Ones wheels. These ones aren't that bad, actually. Surprising. Go figure, this car's like super roached out, but the wheels aren't too bad. Must not have been much of a racer. Last but not least, I got this disgusting Yatming. It's just gross. I don't know what's up with it. I showed this to Andy one day and he almost died. He's like, that thing looks like someone pulled it straight out of there. This is exactly how I got this car. But isn't it cool? It's a Jägermeister Porsche. Covered in some kind of bile or, or something or barf or... I don't know. When I started the channel, subscribers would ask me, Why do you always wear gloves? This is why I always wear gloves, man. You don't know where any of these cars have been. And this thing, I feel like I'm going to get sick just touching it. I bet you this is going to make a real cool thumbnail, so guess what? <laughs> I changed out some of my cars here in the background. Here's a cool Countach from Adam P. He donated this pretty well right when the channel fired up again. I guess it's almost a year ago now, isn't it? This is something uh, I've been on hold for because I just haven't had any good rims to go on this Countach. So this is a pretty cool project in the making, but she's been kind of backburnered for now. Here's another pretty rare donor car, Redline Camaro. The only problem with this right now is nobody's making the hoods anymore. That I can see, the little cowl here is broken. So the hood that was connected to the little pins that were on that cowl, that must all just got jammed real hard and completely snapped it off. I was hoping maybe I could put this body straight onto this base, but I don't think that's gonna work no more. I don't know, maybe. It might be, in a, might be a cool experiment. I mean, we'll start on that one of these days. We'll have to see, that might be a good video. See if we can restore this thing somehow. So I'll show you this one before I go here. Check this out. This used to be a ladder truck. Beep, 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 beep. That's something else we could fix, but I think I'd rather have it as a, just an awesome F-150. This has got two bumpers on it. Missing a little chunk there. It's got a tube bumper in the back and the reason it's on my bench is the project that I wanted to show you guys today that's not ready is also another service truck and I believe these were made by I think MC Toys. The other truck I'm working on has got service all over it and that's just kind of what they call them. They're old Maisto models and they got these crazy, all these wheels used to be chrome and they're just missing all their plating. You yeah, know that's another cool project. I think Personally, I'd want to lose the ladder and just make a kind of cool off-road F-150 out of it or replace the two bumpers or repair them or whatever. But it's got a little hood scoop. No tailgate. Maybe we could make a netted tailgate or maybe I could just print a tailgate for it or something. But anyways, the potential's there for something cool. You guys really don't seem to mind when I post these junkyard videos, so I'm going to keep on posting them from time to time. So make sure you leave a like. And to support the channel, say hello in the comments, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with Project Suzuki. Take care, guys. Bye now.